Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Soul Sacrifice on Sony PlayStation Vita, doing another online quest taking on Elecabra, or as I like to call her, Il. Once again, questing with some random people, but also one of my PSN friends. Now, this particular Archfiend is a bit of a pain because her weaknesses change throughout the fight. Normally, her first weakness is stone, but she's also weak to ice and heat. So, her weaknesses just generally vary depending on the aura surrounding her. And she has a lot of pain in the ass attacks as well. Okay, you see the aura surrounding her is now red, so she's weak to ice at this moment in time. And she'll focus on using heat spells. Now her aura is switched to blue, so that means she's weak to heat. So it's just the opposite, really. Where'd she go? So your weaknesses do change quite often. Yeah, she can petrify you, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but if you enter um, Mind's Eye, you can actually avoid it, avoid getting hit by that, so... There we go, I avoided it. You can also block it with a shield, but I prefer not to waste the spell slot, because if you're prepared for it in advance, it's easily um, avoided. And obviously if you want to break out of being petrified, you just move your analogue sticks around to break out, so... Although that can be problematic if she does a rush attack with her claws at you. Generally, she just is a pain in the ass boss, really, I think. Especially for, like, a storyline boss. If you haven't took the time to level up um, your character in that... I mean, I actually struggled against her, so I had to... Uh, go on to online and do a bit of levelling before I face her again. The, I think the problem is, is just she is a jack of all trades and she's so versatile um, that she's got two forms. She's got her standing up form and then she's got her faster form where she's on the ground and she just slashes at you. Oh man, did I just miss? I can't even tell what her weakness is right now. Dude, well, I'm not taking the time to revive you when she's in the corner. Oh, man, I wasn't ready for that. See what I mean? Unless you're facing her, you can't tell if she's going to do that petrify attack. And then she usually follows it with a rush attack, so it can do quite a bit of damage on you if you're not careful. Oh, 
Come on, guys. Laura over here. No, we're just luring her into the corner. No one really pays attention on this game when you whistle other than at the end when you're trying to get the soul. They only last for a few seconds, those bulbs, so it's a waste. That's the only problem if she fires off one of her pro uh, projectiles, it will explode any uh, old magic you've laid down. So, oh, she's weak to heat right now. Dude, that guy keeps dying. Oh, yeah, I hate that move. She hasn't done her most dangerous move yet, which is where she summons up snake-like tentacles from the ground. Um, but they can easily be dodged if you pay attention to the floor and just um, roll out the way of the black spots on the floor. It's close to death, though, now, guys. Oh, nice. Someone's doing a black right, so I can just wail on her now. As long as someone doesn't be stupid and does something that bashes me out the way, I'm cool here. Trapped in a corner here. Oh, nice. Sweet. So yeah, we got through that quest without her doing her tentacle type attack. I don't even know what you'd call that, but it's hideous. It takes off quite a lot of damage, or at least it did to me at the point in story mode where I fought her. Don't know how much it would take off me now. Oh, sweet. Got two summons, nice. Okay guys, well I'll stop this episode here. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been my Let's Play of Soul Sacrifice on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.